Britney and Backstreet Boys, it was just like, those songs were one after the other, after the other, after the other, and you could still go back and listen to them, and they're just great songs. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 songs you didn't know were written by Max Martin. See you, now I get what I want. For this list, we're looking at some of the most popular hits of the late 20th and early 21st century that you might not have realized were written or co-written by the Swedish record producer. Are you familiar with Max Martin? Which of his songs is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Can't Stop the Feeling, Justin Timberlake In the summer of 2016, it felt like you couldn't go anywhere without this tune blaring across the airwaves. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. Not that we're complaining. It is a whole bop. Its upbeat, funky disco pop sound totally screams summer vibes. When we move, well, you already know. So just imagine. Co-written by Timberlake, Max Martin, and Shellback, it served as the lead track for the DreamWorks animation Trolls. Even though the movie didn't come out until the fall, the song debuted at number one on the US Billboard Hot 100, topped charts internationally, and was the year's best-selling song in the US. Can't Stop received several prestigious award nominations, even winning the Grammy for Best Song Written for Visual Media. It always feels like the sun is shining whenever we hear this tune. So just dance, dance, dance. Number 9. Can't Feel My Face, The Weeknd Max Martin's responsible for launching many careers, and for The Weeknd, this was the song that did just that. At least we'll both be numb, and she'll always get the best of me, the worst is yet to come. The Toronto-born Abel Tesfe was not unknown per se, but this song gave him his first number one hit, propelling him to international recognition. This lively pop and melody, somewhat inspired by Tesfe's idol Michael Jackson, became the definitive earworm of 2015. All the misery was necessary when what deep in love is I know. Yeah. Its enticing beat draws you in before really taking off and leaving you with no other option but to jam out until that final note. There's been much speculation over the song's meaning, with many, including the singer, alluding to substance use. Still, the only thing we're hooked on is just how much we love this track. Number 8. Problem, Ariana Grande featuring Iggy Azalea co-written by both artists, along with Martin and others. Our only problem in 2014 was that we couldn't get this hit out of our heads. Supposedly, it took two years to get Martin on board, but his daughter was a huge Grande fan, so how could he refuse? Only someone as skilled as this songwriter and producer could amalgamate dance pop, R&B, jazz, and funk, chuck in some 90s throwback vibes, and give us a mega hit. If you love Grande's far-reaching range in the pre-chorus or you still can't get enough of those saxophone notes, you have Martin to thank. He really understands how to take a great song and turn it into something phenomenal. And this six-time platinum certified record proves just that. Listening to you knowing I can't believe what you're saying. It's a million you, baby boo, so don't be dumb. I got 99 problems, but you won't be one. Like what? Number seven, Teenage Dream, Katy Perry. Think I'm pretty without any makeup on. You think I'm funny. Martin collaborated with the California Girl singer on several occasions. They worked together on her debut single, I Kissed a Girl, and again on her female empowerment anthem, Roar, among several others. However, the title track on her Teenage Dream album was a euphoric breath of fresh air that reminded us what it meant to be young and in love. The alluring mid-tempo pop number evokes imagery of blissful days in the sun and youthful, free-spirited energy. Let's go all the way tonight, no regrets, just love. It earned Martin his eighth number one and went platinum in a plethora of countries, including nine times in the US. Meanwhile, 
Perry received her third Best Female Pop Vocal Performance Grammy nomination. The song has also been covered endlessly across popular culture. Number 6. Shake It Off, Taylor Swift Two outstanding songwriters, Martin and T-Swift, are forces to be reckoned with. Can't stop, won't stop moving. It's like I got this music in my mind. So when they come together, we get iconic earworms like the breakup anthem We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. They have also collaborated on several other unforgettable tunes, but there's one we simply can't shake off. An animated and catchy dance pop number, Swift reclaimed the haters' words and turned it into a number one hit, marking Martin's 18th chart topper. The single saw Swift seamlessly transition into pop with a sharp middle finger to her critics. It was named Favorite Song at the 2015 People's Choice Awards and awarded Diamond Certification. It also received three Grammy nominations. Although it didn't win, Martin was honored with the Producer of the Year Non-Classical Award. I want to thank all my co-producers, co-writers, and the artists who uh, make me look a whole lot better than I deserve. Number five. So What, Pink. From its opening chords, So What has an instantly memorable sound and cheeky tone. Inspired by Alicia Moore, aka Pink's separation from Carrie Hart, this song had us thrashing around and singing along at the top of our lungs. I guess I just lost my husband, I don't know where he went. So I'm gonna drink my money, I'm not gonna pay his rent. It wasn't the first time Moore and Martin collaborated, but So What marked the singer's second chart topper, as well as her highest selling single in the US. Its banging tune and liberating tongue in cheek lyrics made it an instant fan favorite. So Whether you relate to its themes or just need space to let loose, it's difficult to deny how empowering it is. In 2008, it won Most Addictive Track at the MTV Europe Music Awards. And all these years later, we're still obsessed. Number 4. Since You've Been Gone, Kelly Clarkson Winning American Idol put Kelly Clarkson on the map, but she secured her place there with the timeless and vivacious pop rock power ballad Since You've Been Gone. Here's the thing, we started out friends. It was cool, but it was all pretend. Apparently, this song's co-writers, Martin and Dr. Luke, were inspired by the Ya yeah, Ya yeah, Ya yeah song Maps, which they thought would be elevated by a pop chorus. Martin initially co-wrote Since You've Been Gone for Pink, who passed on it. It was then offered to Hilary Duff, who also turned it down. Ultimately, the track fell into the right hands, with Clarkson opting to amp up the rock and make the number more explosive. a critical and commercial worldwide success, earning the singer a Grammy for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance. Number 3. It's Gonna Be Me, NSYNC In 1997, this beloved boy band was tearing up our hearts with their second single from their debut album. Later, Martin, joined by collaborators Andreas Carlson and Rami Yacoub, set to work on the group's next hit single for their follow-up album. As the story goes, Martin overheard Carlson whistling a tune that caught his intrigue and eventually became the melody for It's Gonna Be Me. Apparently, that famed over-pronunciation that launched a million memes was also a deliberate creative choice. It's gonna be me. The song, which we can all agree is an absolute banger, spent two consecutive weeks at number one, marking Martin's second hit to reach the top spot. Decades later, you can still find us on the dance floor whenever this song plays.
Number two, I Want It That Way, Backstreet Boys. By now, we have established that Max Martin is a larger-than-life songwriter. In 1997, he had us all chanting along to Boy, Backstreet's Back. Oh, And in 1999, he co-wrote the pop ballad of the year. The poppy yet gentle melody of I Want It That Way captivated us, while the boys' harmonies had us mesmerized. And I say, I want it that way. It was nominated for three Grammys and deservingly became the group's highly celebrated signature track. It was even featured on Rolling Stone's 2021 list of the 500 greatest songs of all time. The tune has been covered and parodied to no end, including the iconic Brooklyn Nine-Nine bit. Now number five. I never wanna hear you say. Woo! I want it that way. Thanks to its catchy rhythm and somewhat nonsensical call and response lyrics, its legacy continues to thrive. Tell me why. Guess you could say we want it that way. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Show Me Love, Robin. The song achieved gold certification in the US. My Universe, Coldplay x BTS. Its many accolades include a Guinness World Record for highest debut by a UK group in the US singles chart. You, you That's the way it is, Celine Dion. Billboard called it one of the greatest songs of 1999. It's My Life, Bon Jovi. Max Martin helped introduce Bon Jovi to younger audiences with this legendary rock anthem. One More Try, Jesse J a breathtaking tune written specifically for the musical and Juliet. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one. Baby One More Time, Britney Spears. We could write a whole list just on the songs Max Martin has written for Britney Spears, but instead, we will take you back to where it all began. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? Baby One More Time became Martin's first number one hit and started him on the trajectory of becoming one of the most influential songwriters of the modern age. It also catapulted a 16-year-old Spears to stardom and launched the 90s teen pop era. The song went multi-platinum in several countries and remains one of the best-selling singles of all time. Maybe One More Time by the great Britney Spears was actually number one in every single country on the planet it was released, which is quite incredible. It speaks volumes that despite Spears' countless subsequent hits and accolades, Baby One More Time stays unrivaled. Oops, we listened to it again. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.